So yesterday I filmed this unboxing and I didn't like the way the lighting was so we're refilming the unboxing and I'm going to say everything I said yesterday all over again so enjoy the video. First things first I want to show you guys a little something I just unboxed on TikTok. I know I hate doing TikTok unboxings but I buy things and I want to unbox them instantly and then wear them. It's a bit difficult for me to film on my phone and on my camera at the same time and then also get my sister involved and then but I picked up this beautiful little Laura Piana extra pocket pouch in tobacco. That's the shade of the bag. It's got gold hardware and it is absolutely stunning. This is a bag which has been on my wish list for many years now. I've always loved this bag. However, I didn't like the original style of this bag. They have the pouch and then they've got the extra pocket. So this is the extra pocket L19. The L19 is basically the size. Of this bag they do have l27s they've got bigger versions and they've got different variations of leather i have always been an exotics kind of girl i love exotics but i decided to bite the bullet with this one because i fell in love with the color and i love the fact that it's got gold hardware and it's got a double zip which the classic pouch does not the classic pouch i've only ever really seen in person in ostrich i don't know there's something about ostrich which i just don't particularly love it just kind of reminds me of like acne or boils so yeah, I've always been hesitant about the ostrich, but I genuinely really love these because to me, they're very likable to like a mini Kelly. Are they the same size? They're more or less the same size. In fact, I think the L19 is slightly larger as well as oh, my Micro Lady D-Joy. They're very similar in size, except this fits a whole lot more and it is a lot more practical. It is a bit more understated. It's more of like an if you know, you know kind of bag. However, I feel like after Sophia Richie wore it, everyone is dying for these little pouch bags. They are great bags for everyday wear. If you're someone that doesn't like to keep a lot of shit in their bag like me, this is a great bag. I take this bag with me everywhere. I've not stopped wearing it since I bought it. And it is a beautiful color that genuinely goes with everything. Initially, I did want to get a crocodile version, but the crocodiles have actually gone up a lot since I wanted to purchase them. I do really want this in like a creamy white color. I feel like that would be a great addition to my collection. I don't currently have a decent sized bag in like a white, which is shocking. I actually wanted to wait for like an exciting color to come out. And I've always wanted a B25 in gold or a K25 in gold. I currently have a B30 in gold with gold hardware, but this is very similar to like a Kelly Pochette almost in gold, except for the fact that this leather is more soft, it's more supple. However, this does also have a strap, which makes it very useful. The only struggle I have is just closing and opening it because it is quite soft and supple, but it's not a complaint. It's, it's such a beautiful, elegant bag. There's no logos. There's no like in your face kind of detailing. I love an understated bag. And if you are someone that's on the fence about these bags, let me just tell you, they have increased in price over the past two, three years. So you might as well just jump on the bandwagon now because these are gonna be forever bags. Laura Piana is not a trend-driven brand. It's a very classic, timeless brand, and it will definitely stand the test of time because everything from Laura Piana is something you can just keep in your wardrobe forever and ever because it's classic, it's timeless, and the most important thing, it is phenomenal quality. I definitely have my eye on a crocodile pouch. I did see one in white. It was out my budget at the time because I had just bought the emerald croc from Dior. In fact, it was a toss up and I was like, no, I think I'll wear the dual one more. But now in hindsight, I'm like, I really wish I got that white croc. These also come, like I said, in ostrich as well as lizard. I don't think I've seen a python, but you also get a wicker version. If you guys saw, I recently picked up the wicker kind of like basket version of this. However, they now have a more elongated kind of version, whereas mine's more like a square boxy kind of bag. I do want to get that too. Then I don't remember if I actually talked about these shoes, but I feel like I did on TikTok. So if you've seen the TikTok unboxing, then you know these are my new Amina Mwadi Caroline heels in Strass crystals, which I picked up from Harrods and I had them shipped to Dubai because A, I had no space in my suitcase and B, I got taxed back, which is a winning situation for me. I absolutely love these. I do have these in the regular leather in blue and pink. I'm sure you guys have seen them on my channel before. I absolutely love them. I prefer this style over the Lupita. I don't know what it is, but... I just love the style. They are currently on sale on most websites in different colors. They come in so many beautiful colors. 
I've seen a yellow, I've seen a green, and I've also seen a pink. In fact, two shades of pink, which I love so much. I just love pink. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about those because obviously I feel like you guys have seen them and I don't want to constantly repeat myself. We have another pair of shoes and it is none other than the Miu Miu Ballet Flats. I did unbox these on TikTok. I bought them within an hour. They were at my house. Thank you to Level. Not sponsored, but... They really should sponsor me. I absolutely love these. I saw them online. I was torn between the heels and the flats. Then I decided I'm going to get the flats. And then I was torn between the color options. They have so many different colors in these. They've got like a light blue, a brown, a really gorgeous red, as well as a black. But I decided I want to get the pink because the pink are very reminiscent of my old school ballet days. I did do ballet, but I traded it in for judo when I was like two years in because I just wasn't enjoying it. And I, I like the idea of throwing someone around or knowing how to throw someone around. I was an aggressive little tomboy. However, I loved ballet outfits. They are not fantastic quality, but again, they're not extremely expensive either. So I didn't expect them to be amazing quality. I wouldn't recommend these for long periods of walking. They're a great daily shoe. I initially got these thinking I would try them on and I would channel my inner Amy Winehouse. However, I put them on and I suddenly look like a North London Range Rover mum. If you know the type, you know the type. And that wasn't really the look I was going for, but it kind of worked and I'm not mad about it. I love the contrasting little strap here. I think it's so cute. I love the toe. I love that it's not too boxy. The only concern I have is that these are actually very delicate because they are satin. So I don't baby anything that I buy. The soles are quite thin. They're a lot thicker than obviously the ballet flats you'd wear when you were a child. Those were actually leather soles. They're gonna get filthy, but I feel like you can just shove them in the wash. I'm kidding. I just, I don't think these would go in the wash. Maybe you can get like a satin or like a stain removing wipe and try and see how that goes. Then I did a little shopping online and I picked up some skims. Personally for me, I absolutely love living in skims. They're so comfortable. One issue I have is with their white top. Why is there no white? t-shirt tank top online this looked white to me it looks like my dog pissed on it and someone's tried to wash out the piss but the piss spread do you get what i mean it just looks musty and old and like just i'm not a fan of this yellowy tinge oh it's called bone no i i needed like a stark white this is not giving the stark white that i wanted but i've already unboxed it so it's gonna have to be a pajama top I also picked it up in black. I absolutely love these. I get these in double XS. They are really great quality. They're very stretchy. They don't shrink in the wash. And honestly, I absolutely just, I just really love these. I then picked up this little top from a brand called Courage. I actually tried it on yesterday, which is why. It's like a mock neck knitted crop t-shirt. It's so cute. I absolutely love these. I think these are great pieces to just add into your wardrobe. They're something which I wear very often, just like really plain casual t-shirts, not too much logo, not too much detailing. This obviously does have a white logo on the front, but it's more of like an if you know, you know kind of brand, which I do like. It doesn't have like a brand name on it. And I know I bought like Fendi t-shirts and I do want the Prada ones. I like a subtle kind of vibe and I know it looks like it's for like a four year old, but these do actually stretch. I actually picked up a pair of pants from this brand too, which I am very excited about. And I don't know how they're gonna look on. I haven't tried these on, but these pants, it's giving, oh wait, that's the back. It's giving skirt pants, scants, skirt trousers. I am obsessed. I saw these on the model and I was like, I really hope they're gonna fit me. I know I can get them altered at the hem. In fact, the hem does have like the split detailing, which I do really like. And you can close them with the buttons, which is great. They don't have any pockets. These are faux pockets on the front and back. It does have a small logo detailing on the back. I believe these are meant to be worn low-waisted. I don't know if these are gonna fit me. However, I feel like if I wear them low-waisted, they might, but I'm excited. I did think that they would have like inbuilt shorts, but maybe don't buy these if you have a fat ass, and I mean fat like P-H-A-T, because the cheeks will be out. And I feel like if you have a fat purse as well, probably not, because I don't know. I feel like you might have to wear like little shorts or like briefs underneath these. But yeah, I'm really excited about this t-shirt. It is a crop t-shirt from Jack Moose. They do have a dress version, which I did want to try on, but I got the t-shirt because I, as you guys know, I literally live 
in the most basic clothes. I love basic tees and tank tops with jeans, trousers. I am a basic bitch, but I do love accessorizing with exciting accessories like a cool bag or a cool pair of shoes, exciting jewelry. I just think having a base wardrobe is not that big of a deal. I get a lot of shit for it online. They're like, you just wear the same thing all the time. Yeah. I buy a majority of my clothes for going out and when I sit down and do these videos, I'm in like home clothes. So yeah, even when I go out, like when I say I buy clothes for going out, I mean going out, out. And I don't do that as much anymore. So I'm looking to actually buy more diverse pieces, which I can actually wear during the day. Like I could definitely wear these with jeans, trousers, or even this little mini skirt from Petite. So I absolutely love these. These are our new mini skirts. They are very similar to like the Valentino mini skirts. They've got side pockets. These back pocket and it's like this front flat closure. Oh, I don't know why the red is not showing up. It's like this beautiful fiery red. Perhaps with like a pair of heels or even my little kitten heels from Chanel. Or we could do my new heels. These are a new pair of Manolo Blahnix. I believe these are called the Maisley. I absolutely love this style and I'm obsessed with kitten heels right now because I just... I feel like I wasn't marketed kitten heels appropriately when I was younger and I just probably wasn't the demographic to be wearing kitten heels anyways. But now at my ripe age of 27 where I attend meetings and I have to be in offices and, you know, looking appropriate and presentable, I feel like kitten heels are the perfect shoe. Let me just tell you guys why. Sometimes sandals or sneakers or ballet flats just don't give the outfit the edge that you want. But a pair of stilettos during the day is just not going to cut it for me. I'm not a heels, I'm, I'm definitely not a six inch heel kind of girl during the day. I will wear six to ten inches in the evening, but don't ever think you're going to catch me in six inches during the middle of the day unless it's for a picture. I don't know how people do it, but I just, I could not. So I decided to get these. In fact, I, I told my mum to get these so I could steal them because I don't want to spend money. And I think it's a great way to save money is make your parents buy things for you. I would highly recommend these. They do have a version without the sling back, but I am just not a fan of the clapping noise that these make when I hear them on the floor or the squelching noise that your feet make when they're gripping onto the shoe. It's not my for me. It's probably why I absolutely hate the Orans. I think that's it. Oh no, sorry, it's not a pair of jeans. Jeans, trousers, I got these from Dion Lee. Honestly, I don't buy a lot of Dion Lee full price a majority of the time the cool stuff goes on sale because it is a bit of a pricier kind of brand however it's a great brand i believe it's an australian brand i absolutely love these however my only concern is that i don't know what i'm gonna do about this crotch drop i know i can hem them but when it comes to trousers as a small person you need to adjust the crotch one mistake i made with my margella jeans is now it looks like i got a super long crotch and it just makes my torso look this big and my legs look this big it's just not a vibe so that's a little hot tip for you petite girls out there thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think i will be back with another luxury haul hopefully soon although i'm trying to restrain myself and refrain from buying unnecessary things. I'm gonna return back to London vlogs so you guys can enjoy those. And then we will return back to Dubai vlogs and hopefully be doing something exciting. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.